Minnesota cities and counties are set to see an influx of cash to help fight the opioid crisis in their communities. Each will get a share of the $300 million settlement the state got from opioid manufacturers and distributors for their role in the epidemic. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains the potential impact. Losing a child is um, something I never thought I'd have to live through. The opioid epidemic is personal to so many Minnesota families, including Senator Chris Eaton, who fought alongside others touched by the tragedy for accountability after losing her daughter to an overdose. I do have a little bitterness toward the um, opioid manufacturers and distributors, um, but I am so grateful for the way Minnesota has stepped up. Drug makers and distributors are on the hook for the proliferation of pills that plagued the country. A multi-state lawsuit suing a few of them settled for $26 billion. Minnesota's share totals close to $300 million. A lot of it will go directly to cities and counties to fight the crisis in their communities, money for prevention and treatment. That's where it belongs. It belongs in those programs. It belongs in the state and the local level because that's where we're going to have those wraparound services. Opioid overdoses have claimed the lives of close to 5,500 Minnesotans in the last 20 years, and it's only increased with time, according to the most recent data available. 2020 saw a record with 678 people killed. The money will start flowing to 230 units of local government starting this summer, and more funds could be down the line. The state has pending lawsuits against other companies, including Purdue Pharma. It certainly feels like I've accomplished something and made a difference. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The legislature signed off on the funds this session. Cities and counties will get 75% of the settlement. The state will get the rest for its own programs. Opioid makers will pay that money over 18 years.